Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Sharice and Katie are off tonight. There's been heartbreak and sharp criticism on social media to a story we brought you yesterday after a family's dog was mistakenly euthanized by the Louisiana SPCA. It also caught the attention of a city council member. Paul Murphy is here now with an update. Paul, lots of people had lots of lots to say about this story. Absolutely, Devin. And judging from the tone of the responses we got to our original story, there is a lot of anger, sadness and disbelief that the city animal shelter could make such a huge mistake. While the family now grieves, Councilman Oliver Thomas told us he's already spoken to the head of the Louisiana SPCA about what happened. This is the private spot right here. Herman and Rolanda Spencer in New Orleans East are demanding a thorough investigation and better checks and balances at the city's animal shelter. The Louisiana SPCA, which runs the shelter, euthanized their beloved family dog, King Zuma, by mistake. Yeah, that's a good boy. Well, I raised him since he was a little puppy, so he was like my kid. I took him out, I walked him, I fed him, and I, and I got children, so extended from, from my own personal children, he was another child to me. City Councilman Oliver Thomas says he watched Tuesday's story about what happened to the Spencer's dog on WWL TV. It wasn't a story we just saw, it was a story we felt. And he was able to squeeze through that little hole. After two weeks of searching for Zuma, the Spencers found him at the shelter. They weren't allowed to bring him home that day because they couldn't prove the dog had a current rabies vaccination. They would have to wait two days for the shelter's vet to give him the shot before the dog could be released. But that night, the shelter euthanized the dog. According to the SPCA, Zuma did not pass an earlier behavior assessment. He was on the list to be euthanized before the Spencers claimed him. For some reason, Zuma was never taken off that list. Thomas says he discussed the matter with SPCA Executive Director Anna Zarillo. We have to have some stopgap measures in place to make sure that doesn't happen again. Uh, Ann and the SPCA family have assured me in my conversations with them that they're willing to do that. According to documents provided by the LASPCA, the city shelter took in 4,220 animals through September of this year and euthanized 653 animals over the same time period. In a statement, the SPCA said, humane euthanasia of animals, a practice acknowledged by most animal protection organizations as an acceptable means for alleviating or preventing suffering, is still required in New Orleans due to the surplus of animals received at our shelter. Hey, how are you? Still, how what happened you? to the Spencer's pet is hard to comprehend for Take Paul's rescue founder, Monique Bonifans. And the family visited the dog. The dog was, was you know, identified, claimed. Um, how was it killed? Councilman Thomas also told us he's requested the SPCA provide the Spencer family with another dog when they're ready.